Hello, let's talk about how to download and install Windows Movie Maker. I'm running Firefox and in my address bar I've got Microsoft.com uh, set as the address. Let's go there. We come to the Microsoft website. Now you have to bear in mind over time uh, this website will change and look different. So what you're seeing here is today's uh, generic Microsoft home page. I'm going to click on the downloads link and from the downloads page I'm going to click on Windows Essentials. Movie Maker is part of a package now that goes by the name of Windows Essentials. Uh, when they first released the new version it was called Windows Essentials 2012 but they've dropped the date so uh, you just go to the Windows Essential website and instead of clicking on Movie Maker and going to a specific download site for Movie Maker we might as well just click this download now button because uh, whatever download link you create uh, you'll download a, an installer that will allow you to uh, install photo gallery and movie maker together as a package there's no separating them you have to have both and then messenger and a bunch of other programs too and you can optionally choose not to have the other programs installed I'll show you how that works let's click the download now button and we get a dialog box giving us the opportunity to save the file. Let's do that. Now your mileage may vary depending on uh, the browser that you're using. I'm using Firefox here and I've got my setup program downloaded here. Let's double click that. I have my own little download manager. Uh, yours may look somewhat differently. In any event, what you need to do is start the installer. Answer yes you can modify my computer and then Windows Essentials 2012 uh, starts to install and this is important there's two options one to install all of Windows Essentials that's what Microsoft recommends because they want your computer full of their software or choose the program you want to install uh, if you just want Movie Maker and Photo Gallery that's what you need to do and you can see uh, there are various programs uh, that you can install and these programs I already have installed you can see at the bottom of this dialog are Microsoft SkyDrive and Outlook Connector Pack so it's just going to update those but since I don't have these programs installed at the top I can deselect Messenger, Family Safety, Mail and Writer I don't want any of those all I want is Photo Gallery and Movie Maker and as I say you can't separate them out you have to install both let's click the install button and one last thing we won't bother with that let's click OK and I'll be back as soon as the as the program downloads okay that's the installation process it takes about five minutes we didn't have to tell it where to put Windows Movie Maker or if we wanted desktop or taskbar icons none of that stuff was involved it just installed it and we can go to our start menu to find it in just a moment go to my start button uh, we don't see movie maker on the list of our uh, pre-populated programs but if we just type movie it will sort to the top we can right click it and choose to pin it to the start menu something I like to do with programs I run all the time and we might want to do the same thing for photo gallery so let's type photo here notice by they go they go by the name of the uh, program themselves here they don't go by the name of Windows essentials here so you have to know those uh, the difference there and let's choose to pin that to the start menu too and now if we take a look at our start menu there's our two programs movie maker and photo gallery that's really all there is to installing the program now you should be aware that there are versions of movie maker for previous versions of windows the one i just installed the windows essentials 2012 was written for windows 7 or windows 8 if you're using a previous version of windows like vista or even xp uh, you can at the microsoft download site find old versions of Movie Maker for that op those operating systems. 
Um, but I'm just assuming that everyone here at our college uses the latest operating systems. Okay, thanks for watching.